For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, August 2nd, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're working on at this hour. Brattleboro Finance Director and Treasurer John O'Connor has announced his intention to retire in October. O'Connor has been the town's finance director and treasurer since July 7th of 2011. During his tenure, the town has received seven years of clean, audited financial reports with no findings requiring corrective action. In addition to that stellar record of financial reporting, O'Connor successfully managed $32.5 million in bond funds from a variety of sources for the wastewater treatment plant upgrade project, $13 million of bond funds for the police fire facilities construction project, and millions of dollars more in federal, state, and private grants for a wide variety of town programs and projects. O'Connor was the finance director for the town of Rockingham and for the village of Bellows Falls for five years, and prior to that he served for 18 years in various positions at Vermont Yankee. Bottled water made and sold in New England may have toxic chemicals in it. New Hampshire health officials tested bottled water produced by Spring Hill Dairy Incorporated of Haverhill, Massachusetts. It's a brand that is also sold in Vermont. Officials found PFAs, a chemical that can hurt you over time. The water is sold under various brand names. It didn't pass the Vermont standard, so now the state is working to get the bottle off of Vermont store shelves. The Keene Public Works Department today will be excavating near 143 Base Hill Road to repair a water main. Work will take place between now and 5 p.m. This will require one-way alternating traffic through the work area. Please avoid this area if possible as traffic delays are likely to occur. A repaving project at the Interstate 91 Guilford Welcome Center is progressing. Contractor Basin Brothers is striping the car parking area and will start milling the truck parking area on Wednesday. Car, travel, uh, car travelers rather, will continue to use the truck parking area until Tuesday. Senator Patrick Leahy says Congress has rejected the budget cuts proposed by the Trump administration for the entire non-military side of the federal budget in favor of a bipartisan budget agreement. Leahy, the Appropriations Chair, says he will use this agreement to build upon the 2018 bipartisan budget agreement and direct new resources to priorities for American families like child care, education, infrastructure, and the environment. WTSA Sports, congratulations to the Brattleboro Post 5 American Legion team for winning the Vermont State Tournament in Colchester. Brattleboro defeated SD Ireland on Wednesday to claim their second title in four seasons. Among those on the all-tournament team were Christian Thompson, Dan Petrie, Hunter Beebe, Tyler Milrick, Jack Patterson, Chris Frost, and tournament MVP Jeremy Rounds. Brattleboro will take on the Connecticut runner-up in their first regional game on Wednesday at noon at Holy Cross in Worcester. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, August 2nd, my name is Ian Kelly.